My uh, mother died earlier this month, October 6th. She was 88 years old. In fact, that was uh, <laughs> the last thing she said. Uh, my daughter, oldest daughter, asked her grandma, how old are you? She said, I'm 88 years old. And um, she uh, went to sleep, and the next day she died. Uh, she grew up in the American Legion homeschool in Punk City, Oklahoma. Uh, her place was like a, a dormitory room with bunk beds. So from age seven until she got married, that's where she lived. And her, the other girls were like her sisters. I've mentioned in another video that uh, uh, I thought they were my aunts until I got older to understand. They were just called her aunts. And some of the children of those uh, roommates who were aunts uh, either showed up at the funeral or you know, we've talked with them recently, and they all told the same story about how my parents met. My parents met at the same swimming pool both had been going to since they were small children, the Wentz, Ponca City, Oklahoma. Uh, it's from the uh, website of the Ponca City uh, government, I think, uh, showing the swimming pool. Wentz was a rich oil man, and he gave this to Ponca City for the benefit of the children. And so, that's, sure enough, that's, they start going swimming there when they were children in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Uh, deep end is to the right of this picture and shallow end to the left. So... If I can, uh, all right. So, story is my dad, who was 16 now, he jumped in here at the deep end and he was just going to swim to the other end. So, he's swimming down here, and down at the shallow end, there were a bunch of teenage girls, including my mom, who was 14, mostly girls with her were 14 from the American Legion homeschool. And they said my dad came up before he got to the end and my dad and mom made eye contact and that was it. Uh, he didn't have eyes for anybody else. And that's what all the kids said, that their parents said. So uh, they, uh, uh, when uh, they met Deb, 16, Mom, 14, and they married two years later after my dad graduated high school. He was 18, Mom was 16, she dropped out of school and got married. So my sister put a bunch of their photos. That's their, their wedding photo. Um, that's after Dad died. That's one of the last pictures of her at her, at her place. She, see those flowers? See that with the cap and gown? Mom was 60 years old. Now remember, she dropped out of school when she was 14. She was always a reader and she loved flowers. She had a bunch of books about flowers and she had to teach herself some chemistry, biology, and anyway, they admitted her and she ended up with a diploma in horticulture when she's in her 60s. There she is when uh, she uh, went to the uh, American Legion Home School. Uh, that's after my parents married. That's me, little boy, hold on to dad's leg. It's my little brother, mom and dad. And that's mom, that's after both my brother and I graduated high school. My sister was still at home. And then that's one of the, the final uh, pictures of her before she went into the hospital. 
Um, that my mom and dad were married 57 years and mom lived another 14 years till she died this month. Now my grandparents, my father's parents, uh, had an interesting story about how they met. Uh, this was over a hundred years ago. There was a big regional couple, couples roller skating tournament advertised by big radio station in the broadcast area included much of Kansas and Oklahoma. Now, I looked on the internet and I didn't find anything about this, but I heard the story many times from many people growing up. Um, this was a big deal. Radio stations were new and roller skating tournaments were the thing. Um, Anyway, um, now my grandmother in Kansas had won a statewide roller skating couples championship, but she didn't like her partner. And my grandfather, a teenager, of course, uh, had also won a statewide roller skating couples championship in Oklahoma, but he didn't like his partner. So they each went alone to this big roller skating championship that was held near the Kansas-Oklahoma border. Each was looking for a partner. They found each other, skated, and won. Don't remember what I was told the prize was. But they won, and then they dated a few months and married. Now, none of their parents approved, but they were young and daring, daring and married anyway. Uh, like my parents, they stayed married until the husband died. Now, my wife and I met twice, sort of. We met in the hallway outside the emergency room where we both worked. However, we were working, and we didn't really uh, meet each other. We did speak and would say hello almost daily, but we never had a personal conversation. Now, years later, I left the ER and went on the, you know, the ambulance and the fire department. And uh, I was a firefighter, and we met later doing volunteer work. Now, this time, we started having conversations with each other, personal conversations. One day, I called her about our volunteer work, but uh, we just started chit-chatting about things, and at the end of the call, I asked her dinner. I didn't know. She might have said no, but she said yes, and we started dating, and pretty soon, we were boyfriend and girlfriend. And one day, I surprised her with a hot air balloon ride. Let's see if I can find that picture. Okay, several pictures. Now she took the picture. This, we're, we're getting ready to get set up. That's me in the dark on the right. That's our balloon confetti. There used to be, in the Yellow Pages, you'd call and look, have your pick of people that give you a hot air balloon ride for pay. It was just a routine thing. I suspect insurance companies put them out of business. So uh, my wife took this picture. We were 1,407 feet in the air and floating over the Kansas countryside. And the guy, it's traditional after surviving your first hot air balloon ride to get doused either with champagne or sparkling grape juice and that's what we had grape juice and uh that's colonel smith one of the we didn't know it at that time one of the greatest balloon pilots in the world for us since he was so good it was just like going up in that elevator nothing unusual at all like a flying elevator we had a great time So, uh, my wife usually tells the story that we became engaged after that. But there's more to the story. Uh, our next date, we were supposed to meet at a restaurant, but her car wouldn't start. She called me, told me she was going to call a tow truck and have her uh, car towed to the repair shop. I asked her to hold on, let me uh, take a look at it. She was skeptical, 
This was back in the 80s when you didn't need a computer to repair a car. When I arrived, she got in the car, popped the hood. I looked, immediately repaired the problem, and told her to try starting it. It started. She was overjoyed. She wouldn't have to suffer the expense and aggravation of being without her car while others worked on it. Next date was at her home. She was cooking me a thank you dinner for repairing her car. This time, something in her house wasn't working. While she was outside grilling, I repaired it. Again, she was surprised and overjoyed. Then we got engaged. Now, I tell young men that story as a warning. If you don't want to risk the peril of marriage, don't repair your girlfriend's car or home. And definitely don't take her on a hot air balloon ride. So, relationships and marriage. My parents, it was like kismet, fate, destiny. <laughs> they made it to the swimming pool where they'd been going for years. And we're smitten and we're together from that time on. My grandparents met at a roller skating tournament where they met for the first time and won the tournament. My wife and I actually met, uh, I was a uh, medic, what they call an intake medic, and she was already an MD, Dr. Madison, working in the emergency room. We really didn't talk to each other. She was there to work, you know, we had, we'd have emergencies. And, uh, but then we were later doing volunteer work, and uh, then we had time for conversations, but. So, I guess people most meet on dating apps now, but uh, of course they didn't have dating apps in the past, and you met other ways. You can meet and have a relationship almost anywhere.